of the best features of Obsidian is community plugins. There are over 1500 community plugins for Obsidian. Auto link title. This plugin automatically fetches the web page to extract link titles when they're pasted. It creates a markdown link with the correct title set. This plugin is handy because you don't have random URLs pasted in your notes. Better word count. This plugin is the same as the built-in word count plugin, except when you select text, it will count the selected word instead of the whole document. Obsidian Calendar Plugin. This plugin for Obsidian creates a simple calendar view for visualizing and navigating between your daily notes. Simply toggle between the calendar dates to open your daily notes. Data View. Treat your Obsidian Vault as a database which you can query from. Using the syntax as shown, you can set up some handy database queries within your Vault. I use Data View for exploring my notes over the past 90 days. So you can see here what the Data View syntax looks like. And this is grabbing everything that's been entered in my vault over the past 90 days. There are plenty of options when it comes to data view and you can set up a database like you would in Notion. DB folder. This plugin allows you to set up a database similar to you would in Notion. So you simply right click the folder within your vault and select new database folder. That converts your folder into a database. And from there, you can add your own custom columns. This functionality is very similar to Notion. For anyone that's used Notion, will appreciate this plugin. To rename your database, simply right click, select rename, and then enter the name of your database. This can be combined with an icon of a database to make it easily identifiable. When you no longer want the database, simply right click and select delete. Emoji Toolbar. This plugin for Obsidian allows you to quickly search for and add emojis to your editor. I have set up emoji on a hotkey alt colon. Within your notes, whenever you want to add a emoji, hit your hotkey alt colon and then search for the emoji which you'd like to add. I find this quite useful for map of contents. You can also set up your own tag taxonomies with emojis. So when you're searching for notes, you can search by the emoji. I find this quite useful for thoughts and ideas. And I've got a full list of taxonomies here, which I'll link in the description. Scala Drawer. The Obsidian Scala Drawer plugin integrates Scala Drawer, a feature rich sketching tool into Obsidian. You can store and edit Excala Draw files in your vault. You can embed drawings into your documents and you can link to documents and other drawings to and from Excala Draw. This is one of the most popular community plugins for Obsidian. Other editor. This plugin enhances the core page preview plugin by turning the hover popover into a full featured editor instance. Hover over any note and click and drag around that note, expand it, edit within the hover editor. And you can have multiple hover editors open. Iconize. This Obsidian plugin allows you to add any custom icon or SVG file. This plugin is handy when you want to put an icon on a folder within your vault. Simply right click, change icon, select the icon that you'd like to add. You can also change the color of the icon. So you wanted it to be a green, just save changes. And if you do want to remove the icon, you simply right click and remove icon. Minimal theme settings. This plugin accompanies the minimal theme, allowing you to customize the theme from the Obsidian settings panel. This plugin is not required to use the minimal theme, but it's highly recommended. You can change dark mode color schemes at the click of a button, which is quite handy. Style settings. So this plugin allows snippet theme and plugin CSS files to define a set of configured options. 
It works alongside the minimal theme and it gives you a lot more power when it comes to customizing the CSS properties within your theme. So you can use a custom CSS file, but if you're not comfortable with CSS, this theme is a good one to have to make those adjustments. Natural language dates, some timestamps and cross-link your daily notes with flexibility of natural language. Simply type in at, you can list today, tomorrow, or yesterday, two weeks from now, it's going to convert that in your notes to that particular date. I find this quite handy with my templates when I bring up a new note, I just type in at whether I'm doing a note for today, it enters the date for me by just going at today. Paste URL into selector. This allows you to convert any text into a URL. Works similar to the way Notion works. If, it, if you've ever used Notion, copy your URL, like the text that you wanna paste that link into, hit paste, the plugin does the rest for you. Switcher plus plus. Find what you're looking for faster using quick switcher plus plus. This is an Acidium plugin that extends the functionality of the built-in quick switcher. Recent files. This plugin displays a list of the most recently opened files in the sidebar. Optionally include paths of files which should be excluded from the list. Simply select the tab at the top. It will show you all your recent files. This plugin is handy to have when you've recently worked on a note or not sure where it is. Quick add. Quick Add is a powerful combination of four tools called Choices. Quick Add consists of templates, captures, macros, and multis. Quick Add is a handy plugin to have because it allows you to create a quick action to create a new note in a particular location within your vault with a templated title and templated content. For example, you could set up a quick action to add a link to open a file to your daily note under a specific location within your vault. Quick Add works well with stream decks as you can set up multi-actions with the tap of a button. Periodic Notes The Periodic Notes plugin expands the idea of daily notes, introduces weekly, monthly notes. In the plugin settings, you can specify your date format for your daily note, where your daily note template lives, the note folder. You can do this for weekly notes, monthly notes, quarterly notes, yearly notes. Reading time. This is a simple plugin to add an estimated reading time for a selected note to the status bar. This is a handy one to have when you want to know how long it's going to take to read through some notes. Could be handy for a YouTube video or for researching. Commander. The Commander is a plugin for Obsidian which allows you to add commands to different parts of the user interface. This is handy to have when you want to remove particular shortcuts on your vault. So you might want to customize the ribbon and take away specific commands that are showed there by you default. You might not want to show new book notes. You might want to hide headings mode. Plugin update tracker. This plugin knows when installed plugins have updates and it evaluates the risk of upgrading. So when you see this red notification, it tells you that some plugins need updating. Simply click, you can either select all, go update plugins, or you can read through the change log before you update the plugin. This is really handy for keeping all your plugins up to date at the click of a button. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed my top 20 Obsidian plugins. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comments section.